Because I always wonder, how does the caterpillar with no hands close the leaf around them? And when he pushes down on the strand, it'll pull the leaf closer. All he's got is uh, mandibles and, you know, silk glands. Hi folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods and I have in my hands a lily leaf, which I got right over there in that patch of lilies. And you can see that this leaf has got some considerable damage on it. Inside of this little leaf fold right here, guys, is a Brazilian skipper caterpillar. And one of the things that has always fascinated me about skippers is their ability to make a house for themselves. I've always wondered, guys, how long does it take a caterpillar to seal himself in on a leaf fold, okay? And they make this all, down, all on their own with no hands and no tools. Uh, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this flap and I'm gonna sit here with my phone and I'm gonna film and we're gonna see how long does it take him to seal himself back in. Guys, comment down below how long you think it'll take this guy to seal himself back in the fold. Um, I think this is super, super cool. Uh, guys, comment down below. Let's get to the video. In fact, what we gotta do now is let's open him up. Okay. As you can see here, guys, he's got these little silk strands that he has here. So I'm gonna do him a little disfavor. I'm gonna break that silk strand. And now we are going to time him. How long will it take this Brazilian skipper caterpillar to enclose himself in this leaf? This leaf is completely flat. Let's see. The leaf is completely flat, guys. And we're gonna wait for him to start moving again. But when he does, we'll start the clock and see how long it takes him to start moving. All right, he's moving now, guys. Let's get to the video. How long will it take this guy to make his home again? Let's check it out. What we're watching this caterpillar do right now, guys, is he is going to start to enclose himself. And what he does is he attaches a strand of silk as you can see, that's what he's doing right now. And he's and he's putting it like multiple layers deep. And every time he moves his head from one side to the other, he's putting another strand of silk and attaching it, making it thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And then what he'll do is he'll move, once he gets that strand done, he'll move backwards and do that again. And he'll make like two or three of those strands. And then he'll, pull down on the strands and it will start to close the leaf because I always wonder how does the caterpillar with no hands close the leaf around them now well, that's how they do it uh, he's making that silk strand nice and thick isn't he so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to let him continue to go I've got a time stamp on this guy of when he started to make this little strand I don't know if you can see it, but he just pulled himself shut a little bit. And then he tightens it. He tightens that strand. And what he'll do is he'll push down on that strand. And when he pushes down on the strand, it'll pull the leaf closer. He's 
not even using multiple strands yet. What he does is, as he goes back and forth, he's tightening it up every single time. And it, you can even see this piece of the leaf folding. You can actually see, if I can just keep it still enough, you can actually see the, that fold of the leaf moving little by little. And he's pushing it shut. Little by little, guys. He just uses that little strand of silk to pull it shut. It's like a hinge that doesn't move. <laughs> now, for context, this was flat out, this was out flat, guys. This was totally out flat. And now, as you can see, he pulled that flap almost completely over himself now. And you can see from almost every angle now, he's almost completely enclosed. So this is literally a play by play. And now I'm just gonna give you the last final moments before he's actually completely enclosed. That's crazy. I didn't realize it happened that fast. I've never actually sat and watched it. He's just pulling it little by little, tighter and tighter. Every time he moves his head back and forth, it moves tighter and tighter and tighter. And eventually, this thing is completely sealed. Looking from straight above, you can see how the leaf is completely folded over now and the caterpillar is not visible except by this little tiny window and I would imagine somehow or another he is going to work his way over to the to the lid here and seal himself in a little bit better so we're gonna see how that how that goes and how that takes place boy oh boy he's getting tight in there isn't he that is insane. What a cool, cool thing. I don't know if I could be that intuitive and I've got hands and all kinds of tools. This, all he's got is uh, mandibles and, you know, silk glands. You can make silk and that's, I guess that's all he needs to make himself a house. And he just shortens that thing little by little. That is completely fascinating. All right, now he just gave up on that. Now he's inside of that strand. So as you can see, the strand that he just made is right there. It's like a pylon now. It's like a a pillar inside of his house. So now he just turned around. He reversed and he's actually inside of the leaf, inside of that pillar. And now he's laying down more silk. I'm trying to show this to you guys the best way I can. Let's see what his next move is. I'm gonna change positions here. All right guys, that about does it. Um, as you can see, this leaf is completely sealed. Well, there's a Still some opening here, which I'm sure he's gonna tighten up. But it took him just under 20 minutes, guys. 
to fold this flap back over. And I think that's really, really cool that a little tiny creature like that with no hands and no tools other than a silk gland or two uh, can make a house for itself in less than 20 minutes. And guys, hope you liked the video. You know, our little Brazilian skipper friend is now going to start eating and um, we, I think it's cool. But we got more videos to come on the Brazilian skipper. Uh, comment down below if you learned anything. Um, I'm curious to hear what you guys' thoughts are and uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because when you do uh, and you hit the bell, very important, you hit the bell because when you do, you get notified when we put out cool scientific videos like this, which teaches you about the butterflies and moths of South Florida. He's in there somewhere. There he is. He's still he's still tightening down the, uh, the hatches there. But guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, take care. Let's enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there.